Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with a new video. This video is all about a camera application. This camera application is very important application in the CCTV industry because it is designed and developed by one of the biggest brand in CCTV. So keep watching and till end and please like and share our video and subscribe to our channel. And this video is all about a uh, software name as Wiseview. Wiseview for PC uh, is a application which is designed by Hanwha Technologies. Okay. And as you all know that it is one of the big brand in CCTV industry. So, and this application is considered to be the best CCTV camera monitoring software for CCTV cameras. And it is it is allow you to remotely access the Hanwha camera and I have an NVR and Hanwha devices and it will allow you to remotely playback and such recording and it will allow you to remotely or locally uh, find change the camera configurations so and its main feature is that it allow you to uh, like video monitoring of CCTV cameras playback of recorded data dual screen assistance camera combination management by preference rock administration recording exposed user management automatic upgrade and in this video now let's start a practical file in our practical part we have a two part one is downloading second is installation and configuration and configuration is very important because on that we will explain you that how you add a IP camera or NDR to the device view for PC applications so let's start a practical part just click on this Google Chrome browser any browser and you should search the device view for PC when you click on wise view for PC and just click on this when you click on the website you find a link for a mic MacBook and a PC I mean Windows so and when you scroll down you find the installation process and a configuration for process so in this video we will going to describe just click on this free download for PC windows when you click on this it will redirect to your to, you, to another page and you should wait for a 10 second and after that click on download zip file when you click on download zip file here it start downloading just wait for a few minute it depend on your internet internet speed that how much time is needed to download the complete to completely download so once it is downloaded So you should click on this download and here you find this wise view for PC just click on show in folder and here just right click on the download file and first thing you should do that you should extract the file so I extract the my, my file and when I, when it is extracted just click on the wise view for PC folder and again click the same and here you find the .exe file or application file and you just click on the just right click on the administrator file uh, or application file and after that you should click on red and as administrator when you click on red run it as administrator just click on yes take a few minutes to completely install so when you click on run as administrator, administrator after that you should click on this next and again you should click on next again you should click on install now it will take time to complete the installation again is install the VFPC redistributor redistributional and just click on the finish button when you click on finish button it 
it installed and here if I now I will ask for a new password ok so just click on the new password I should enter my new password click on yes and now I should click I should open this application with my password which I entered so the first thing it will show you a pop up up setup ok so what should you do that you should leave all the things like date and time, capture, record, sequence, all the things same. You, you, you don't need to change. Okay. If you have a, um, you want to record the particular file, so you should change according to the, according to that. Okay. You should you should change that this path and this path. Now, here you find the device option. So when you just click on device option. So here you, here you find the user, here you find update, here hide camera, okay, here you find option and here you find the device option. So the device option is very important because first step you should do in any software you should add the device, okay. So when you click on add your device here you find auto, here you find plus. If you locally connect the DVR and VR camera you should click on plus auto or you can and the same thing you can do from this option so I just click on this okay so as you know this here you find a model name Samsung DVR and the Samsung NVR and here is the Hanwha technologies model so so just click on this because I have this and here you find then IP address URL web samsung.net or ddns or canvasity.com so if you want to remote remotely add the device then you should click on if you have a samsung device then you should click on this if you have Hanwha you should, you should click on this or if you have any URL then you or ddns you should click about that so in my case I use IP address ok so I, I should enter the my uh, I locally a local IP address ok so here is my if you if you never like this a static IP you have a static IP then you should enter that a static IP also so I should enter my local IP address Okay, and the port number. So you should check the port number. In my case, I have changed to 9000. But but for for you, you should log in your NVR or DVR or camera and go the network option and wait. and when you click on network option, you find the port number. So you should enter that port number here. Okay, and again, add for ID means user ID. So you here it's very a common mistake the people are doing what people did they use password id password of the software so here you should enter the id address or password of a device means nvr dvr ip camera just click on this okay so in my case i use my ip address and here i should i should enter my password number and you should click on tech connection test if you if you want if you have any doubt don't have doubt just click on the register and close just click on the register and I click on close and when you click on close and here you find that your device you should click on this and just click on this your camera going to be live just click on this and camera is live So 
keep watching and please like share and subscribe our channel thank you have a nice day